Most, most real is still M16 rounds from 16s. Blood money over here. Cash rule daily. Flip cream. Lay it down flat. Call it a G language. Keep flaming. Sophisticated killers. That's rich and famous. But acting like your bakery bake stacks. Get your cake snatched and your pride too. Money can't replace that. Run, but you can't hide the games that you play. It gets you viewed by a car and a coward. This is my corner. Come on. What's good, fight fans? This is Ash's Corner. Shout out to the Lions Den Boxing community. We're going to get right into this video. Last weekend, I seen a great fight in between Franchon Cruz to the left that was undisputed. That gave her undisputed title away, in my opinion. You gave it away to Savannah Marshall. Savannah, I thought Savannah Marshall had a great chance to win that fight. You know what I mean? I went with the hometown since I'm from Maryland. I went with Cruz. Cruz lost that fight. And in my opinion, I say she gave it to Savannah because she could have just fought Shadeja Green, which was her mandatory for over a year, kept the belts in the States, but she wanted a big fight and she wanted to be on, she wanted to do the same thing Carissa Shields did, in my opinion, but she couldn't do it. She couldn't pull it off. And Savannah Marshall was right. You're nothing like you're nothing like uh, Carissa Shields when it comes to Franchon Cruz. And we've seen the biggest difference last Saturday. This past Saturday, the fight got away from Cruz because she couldn't get past Savannah Marshall's jab. Savannah Marshall was using the jab very well. You could tell she learned a lot, a lot from that loss from um, to Shields, and she came out to victor. She is now undisputed at 168 pounds. This is her very first fight at the weight class. She moved up because Franchon Cruz wanted this fight. Cruz, I think, was was going to fight someone else that was two weight classes above her that hasn't had a fight in over two years. I think that fell through, and Savannah Marshall is the next person that she wanted to fight. So she got her wish. Savannah Marshall moved up, and she lost to Savannah Marshall. And shout out to her. It was a good fight, and Savannah Marshall did a very good job. During the press conferences on the lead up to the fight, Savannah Marshall said to, to Cruz, same thing with with um, Shadeja Green. She was your mandatory for over a year and you didn't want to know. So she no, she already knows that, that, it's, uh, that Green, Shadeja Green should have already got her shot for undisputed at 130 pounds versus Cruz and she didn't. So I was kind of worried about if she was going to get her shot after this fight as I knew if Cruz wins she probably wasn't going to get her shot but since Savannah won I was kind of you know thinking about it but then I woke up to this Savannah Marshall now knows that she I mean I'm sorry Sedasia Green knows that she will be next now it says Carisha Shields tweeted she will step aside for Sedasia Green versus Savannah Marshall can move forward okay it says uh Shields says y'all need to be more vocal because I didn't I didn't hear about the WBC mandatory stuff till after everything was over. And I'll step aside. I beat Savannah already. I'll take the winner of Marshall versus Green. That's fire right there. Jake Paul also tweeted, don't know who this promoter on Sky Sports is, but WBO has granted Shadeja Green to be next. Basically, this is fire. This is great news. Shout out to everybody that was behind this to let it happen. Shout out to uh, the queen, um, Carisha Shields, for stepping aside, probably without no step aside money, just doing it for the love of the sport to be great. And that's fire right there to me. That's awesome. That's love. Shout out Shout out to Shadeza Green. You finally about to get your shot. You should have got it already. And, you know, respect and shout out and all due respect to the whole women's boxing They've been doing a thing for the last three years straight, like straight, straight work. And I got to commend them for it. But uh, Jake Paul is going to be staging this fight. He said it's the biggest UK fight after Savannah, after, uh, Savannah Marshall wins uh, that, that undisputed title. This is going to take place in, U in the UK. I think it's going to be a very big fight. I think it's going to be bigger than uh, Cruz versus Savannah Marshall this last Saturday. I think we're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Let me talk about the specs really quick. Um, Savannah Marshall is 13 and one. One loss coming from uh, Shields. She has 10 knockouts. She's ranked number one at 168 right now in the world. 
She has a 64 rounds on her belt. Her knockout percentage is 71.43%. Uh, she's been pro for seven years. Just like I said, she is the undisputed champion at 168. Um, she's 32 years old, 5'11 and a half. She's from the UK and she's about to get it. Now, uh, so, um, I'm sorry. Shadeja Green's record is... is she is 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. She's ranked number three in the world under Cruz and number one now under Savannah Marshall. She has 36 rounds under her belt. She has a knockout percentage of 91.67%. She's been pro for five years. She's 33 years old. She's 5'8". And um, this uh, her third pro fight was the only fight that went to distance, and the distance was six rounds, okay? She sounds kind of like the face of boxing, kind of like um, Big Tank Davis when, when it comes to the punching. Only went six rounds one time, and then the other time is when he had one broke hand. Let's get it. Let's get it. But, um, yeah, she's 5'8". Uh, her reach was not listed, but according to her last fight, she... She fought somebody that was 5'10", and in the face-offs, their hands and shoulders, I mean, their hands look like they, her hands look like they stopped a little bit beneath the girl, her opponents, and her shoulder, of course, started a little under. So I'm guessing that that uh, Shadeja Green's reach is around 70%. If it's not 70, it might be 71, 76, I mean, 69, 70, or 71 uh, inches, for real. So uh, I had to figure that out because it is important in this fight, okay? Savannah Marshall's arm reaches 72 inches, and I had to look that up as well. So one or two inch reach advantage isn't going to isn't going to make that much of a distant difference in this fight. Um, the best thing that Savannah Marshall got going for her is her awkwardness, awkwardness and how she moves around when she fights. Um, but back to Shadeja Green. Uh, like I said, her last time and only time she went the distance was a six round fight back in 2019. She's been stopping stuff, retiring stuff on a stool, knocking, knocking fighters straight out her entire career. Okay. But, um, that just, like I said, uh, her last fight was back in February. And, uh, so she's don't have any ring rust or nothing. She fights out of New Jersey. And uh, I think it's going to be a firefight. You know what I'm saying? It's like I said, shout out to her. I'm so glad she's getting her chance. And I know, and I'm going to say it right now, she will beat Savannah Marshall and become undisputed at 168 pounds when they fight each other. And it's supposed to be next, so let's get it. I should have just stuck with my guns when it came to I shouldn't have went with the hometown, and I should have just went with my guns because I knew Savannah Marshall had all the keys to beat uh, Shill, I mean, Cruz, but... Hey, we live and we learn. I'm finna stick to him for now on, though. <laughs> I got you, Daisy Green, winning this fight. It's gonna be a hard fight, but I definitely got her winning. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace, fam.